Today's tip, how to display event or alarm history. There are two objects that will allow you to display alarm history. These objects are the event bar chart and the event display object, both of which are located within the data slash history tab. The event display is similar to the alarm display, with the exception that it is used to display both historical and active alarms whereas the event bar chart uses bar graphs to depict event occurrence and duration. To use either object, we need to ensure that history is enabled within the event alarm log. Let's also make sure that each alarm we want to record has save to history enabled, although this setting should be enabled by default. With that configured, let's create a new event display object. Within this object, there are two features that I'd like to discuss. The first is the Acknowledge address that you'll find within the General tab. This address is used by the Acknowledge value that you'll find within the Message tab of an event within the Event Log. Now what this does is when you click on an alarm within the Event Display, the Acknowledge value configured for this alarm will be written to the Acknowledge address. You can use this feature in a variety of ways such as to acknowledge the alarm within the PLC or open a pop-up window on the HMI. If you don't intend to use this feature, please just set the acknowledge address to an unused address within the HMI. The next feature that I would like to discuss is that of our sort tab. The sort tab can be used to add or change the columns of data that will be displayed or determine how alarms are sorted. With that configured, I'll place this object and create an event bar chart. Within the Appearance tab of the event bar chart, we can define the time span of our axis and the style of our display. Although, I'll leave these options at their default setting and click OK. Now both objects have several other features, but in most applications you'll likely only use the features described within this tutorial. For more information about either object, please see section 13.22 and section 13.51 of our user manual. With that finished, let's run an offline simulation and test these objects. With my simulation running, I'll trigger a few alarms, and you'll notice that these alarms are still visible within our display, even after the trigger condition is no longer met. And if I leave an alarm on for a significant duration, you'll begin to see a bar graph form in our event bar chart. Thank you for watching this quick tip created by Wintech USA support. For more information about our software and our products, please visit wintechusa.com.